Good day, beautiful people, and welcome back to the channel. Now the week that has just gone past, we had some lack of swell coming in. A nice little cold front came past. And uh, there was quite a nice few sizes coming through. And uh, I went up there to Supers to surf there. I like it when it's a little bit bigger to go to Supers. And I had a flippin' nice wave as I'm taking off on it. And I'm cunning it. Because if you get there past the car park section, the swell was a little bit square on. You have to pump it to make that section. And I was gunning it. As I'm coming out, I see A is going to drop in in front of me. And I'm screaming at him not to drop in, but he did anyway. As he dropped in, I have to wanted to straighten out. And then I see he's pulling out. And I wanted to come back. But by then, now I already commit going out. As I'm coming in, you lost it. That lip hit me <laughs> off my board, under the water, bouncing off the rocks there in front of a car park. As I'm going under the water there, I'm saying, bro, I'm too old for this rubbish, man. Yes, getting pounded, holding up my breath, cut my leash, climb up, holding, holding, cut my breath of air, the second one pound me. And I was like, no, that's it. I'm going down to point or tubes are going to go and surf there. This is there's just too many <laughs> oaks here. But as I'm paddling back, I see old Jordy Smith coming in a wave, pulling in on a battle. I was like, oh no, man. I have to go back and look for another one. <laughs> we are surfers. We are freaking crazy. You know, three seconds ago when I was under the water bouncing off the rocks, I said, that's it. I'm going down to tubes. As I come up, I see oak in a battle. Hey, I have to go and get one. But that's what we do. We love it. Getting back to the sailing, after that whole experience where I screamed at my wife to come out and grab the steering, I should actually give my wife a medal, you know, for staying with me with all this rubbish I put her through. We got out there, and uh, now the Southwester still had a day or a half left of strength in it. So I started going across the Mozambique current. But now I made my way towards, uh, I think it, I wanted to go then at that time to Jean Genova and from there up to my yacht. So I set the angle and we both were sailing lacquer, but the swell was big. And that evening the swell started, oh, the wind started uh, dying, so it became lighter. And here we're going in a big swell. Because now the current with that swell and the wind, those waves are standing up big there in the most big channel. <laughs> it's big, but. But anyway, I crossed it. And then the, the next day, or two days later, it started going um, northeast again. Now I said, okay, bugger that. I won't make that island. I don't want to beat now. Turn the boat, go in a nicer angle. Let's go to uh, buses to India or Europa Island. It's there in the middle of uh, the Mozambique Channel. We were, I think, 27 miles away from uh, uh, buses to India. The wind changed again and it became, I started getting now into the southeast straits. It's coming up uh, the Madagascan coast. Now, obviously, I'm not going to beat another day or half towards uh, buses to India. Turn the boat, let's go to Europa Island. Now, this bus is the India is actually a very interesting story. It used to be a mountain that exploded and fell in on itself. So it's got a coral reef right around it. I think it's about 10 or 15 kilometer um, diameter through it. It's so huge. You can go in there. But the French, it belongs to them now. So you have to get permission to go there. Lots of South Africans go fishing there. Dude, you've... If you go there and you don't catch a fish, then you didn't add a line in the water. You can put a hook on with a piece of silver paper and you'll catch a, a fish. That place is incredible about for fishing. Also, Europa Island, that's actually an island. <clears throat> and I read, and I don't know if it's true, uh, in a little article that I saw, that that's the only island where there is saltwater mosquitoes on that island. Just something here for 
reference. But okay, now we're on our way to uh, uh, Jean Genova. Now that's another island that belongs to the French. The French has got most of the islands in these small places. If you're a French sailor, you can sail around the whole world and work in each little island because all the islands are part of France, they are provinces. So when you go sailing, there's a lot of Frenchmen out of there also cruising around the world because it's easy for them. They can cruise from a Indian Ocean to the Atlantic. There'll be a place for them to work. Uh, then they go to the Caribbean. There'll be a place for them to work. They go through the Panama. They go to the Pacific. There's the Pacific Islands. They've got a place to work. Then they come to the Indian Ocean. There's islands for them to work. So you can work five, six months, sail another place, work five, six months, work, sail. So it's very nice for the French. But for us, <laughs> it's tough, brute. You have to work illegal everywhere. But now as I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked on this story. As I'm getting closer to Jean Genova, we saw a yacht on the, on the horizon. My wife called it up on the radio. Oh, that was another Frenchman <laughs> that left I think he left four or five days before me in Rich's Bay, so we caught up on him. But now the wind's very light. The way I caught up on him is I actually start the motor, motor sailing, and that's what, and his motor was broken. As we get closer, he asked me, hey, can I give him a line pull into uh, Jean Genova? I said, yes, bro, I'm going to give you a line, because once you get to Jean Genova, you're not allowed to go in there. It's actually a military base, or the, now they call it, it's a weather station, a weather place. And what happened is, if you arrive there, and uh, the soldiers, they go every three months, they rotate the soldiers every three months. And if you arrive there in the beginning of the three months, they'll chase you away. But when you arrive at the end of the three months, they'll be happy to see new faces, and they'll allow you to come in. That's what that Frenchman told me. I don't know if it's true, but he called them up on the radio and they said, yes, we can come in. What a festival that was. That's for next week. And how my little dinghy got destroyed on that island. See you guys in the water. Keep the stoked. Bye.